Why are white executives afraid to create non-stereotypical roles for black people? I think you fear what you don't know, what you don't understand. I think that African Americans have always been the dark other. I think it scares people. Um, I don't try to just say it's racism, which by the way, at its very root, it is racist. But I don't think these people realize that they are being racist. I think it's ingrained to, within their subconscious mind. It's also a set of practices and structure that are inherent to the Hollywood system. They'll say, oh yes, we love to hire him. He was fantastic. He was a great uh, uh, read and he did a great job on the audition. The young man could be black. But they say, well, because he's black, he won't sell in Europe. We can't put him on the poster. That'll turn people away. So they make it a money thing. That just saying that out loud is racist. That you're not going to choose the best person for that role or somebody who you think would be great in it and establish a new pattern because you think you, it won't sell overseas. That's not only racist, it's a lie. Black people helped create the foundations of American um, culture. Rock and roll, hip hop, blues, jazz, all of that. And um, to be denied that our image won't sell is, is in fact wrong. We rule music. We rule in athleticism in terms of our image. Most of the people who play the big sports from like Tiger Woods, Serena Williams, they're black. They haven't stopped the audiences from coming. So if you say that about the image, the moving image, that that person will not be able to, to satisfy the market, you're basically trading on racist um, undertones and, and uh, notions. And that needs to be examined with them. How do you get that message to them? Very difficult. Because it, people shut down when you start talking about things like that. No. How should black films be marketed in the 21st century? Well, I don't think they should be marketed as black films. I think they should be marketed as films. We didn't like it in Living Single when we were on Fox and we were marketed as a black show. That means they would only market us to black uh, communities, Atlanta, uh, New York, Detroit, Houston. We'd go across the country and there were all sorts of people watching our shows. We're at a time where they, the industry has successfully almost segregated television. That did not happen until after I'd say almost after the living single years, where we were still on Fox and you had, you were, you could find a so-called black cast show sitting right next to Ally McBeal. Now, in order to see those same cast, you go to black networks, with the exception of, of Kerry Washington, God bless her, and um, Megan Good, who got the opportunity to headline a show. There are very few times that you're not um, seeing a show that the black person or the person of color, this, leave it open like that, is the third or fourth lead. That's a problem. As long as they can say there are black shows, they can put them in a black context and they can discriminate and marginalize the show and its importance. And would you have called the Cosby show a black show? Or did you just show, call it a great show? And there's a huge difference. Did you call um, Living Color a black show? No, it had a large black cast, but there was Jim Carrey sitting next, right next to them. And so, I don't, think it, I don't think it empowers anybody to call shows black or white. 